So if you think that you can't eat in order to lose weight, you're completely wrong. Most people starve themselves in order to lose weight and they're losing the wrong weight. So what I'm gonna do is share with you what I eat and I still lose roughly about five pounds a week. Let's go. 225. So what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of That Guy Health. And today I'm gonna to do something special, a long awaited request by many of you, pretty much a day of eating. But I'm not gonna go through a whole day of showing you cooking and doing all this other stuff. I'm basically gonna go right over the foods that I consume when I go into cut to basically lose fat, all right? And um, we're gonna try to go through this as quickly as possible because literally me and my wife just finished shopping and today is a better day than any. It's a Sunday, so that typically Sunday lends me being on a rest day of not working out. So I'm gonna burn less calories on this day and this is where it gets a little tricky and you gotta be disciplined. But first I'm gonna take you on the overall and we're even gonna get into supplements. And we're going to get into why these are up here. Because I know most of you are thinking like, what the hell is that? And uh, let's go. Let's get into this. So what I typically do Monday through Saturday, all right? I, and we're going to go from starting in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with protein, a fast-acting protein, very easily to consume, quality products. Uh, let's get this out the way. If you want to get this, Core Nutritionals, you can go to my website at www.thatguyhealth.com. Click the Gains tab. Immediately start shopping, and it's going to apply a discount code. Matter of fact, that discount code right there at your shopping cart, and I put that discount code there. That way, if you just go to Core site and you get ready to check out, you can put that in. But I'm going to start off with my protein. I'm going to start off with my creatine, and I'm going to start off with burn, all right? Burn is something that's going to help me suppress my appetite because when I'm going into cut, I'm not consuming as many calories. I'm working out of a deficit. So you're going to get a little hungry. So the good thing to try to do is try to implement something of quality that's going to try to help you suppress that uh, suppress that appetite. People, I think, have it a little bit um, are a little bit misleaded that to think that these type of supplements are just going to burn fat right up off of you. They're going to be ideal for assisting with the process in which you already have in place, working in a good, clean deficit that's going to lend towards burning body fat. OK, so this can also assist with that. But if you're going to think if you think you're going to take this and not do anything and just con continue to eat above in a plus and then lose fat, you're sadly mistaken. All right. So I'm going to have burn in the morning. Then I'm going to have my coffee protein and spinach and if you notice you don't really see a lot of carb up here aside from this and we're going to get to that all right you don't see rice uh, you don't see oatmeal you don't see a lot of fruit stuff like that okay majority of my carbs at this point in time will come from my spinach and you also don't see a lot of dairy up here i'm also going to get my calcium out of my spinach so that's first thing in the morning i'm taking that hit a good hit of supplements plus my multivitamin every other day and a good fish oil every day all right so then i will go ahead and we'll let's move into some of these and i know you see this up here and these chicken wings up here and you're like oh my god what's that this is going to go come into play for that sunday we're going to talk about so now right here i have my lean protein sources and one of them is 93.7 ground beef all right 97 93.7 ground beef i want it as lean as i can get it uh because at this point in time when you're in a cut or you're in a deficit or you're taking in less, it's about having things that you could try to fluff up and get more chewables in, but not impact those macros and calories. And at this point in stage in the game, if you're trying to get to that fat level, you want to pay attention to your macros. People say don't count calories and macros. Listen, when you're dialing in and you're trying to get a personal training or personal meal plan like I do, we have to dive into that. Now, when I'm your coach arm your trainer i'm do doing more of that up front and then i'm trying to teach you how to do it on the back end so that way you can navigate your own plan but we have our list of proteins here we have our eggs we have our egg whites we have our chicken and we have our ground beef okay so these proteins are what i will use to try to plug and play depending on where i want my calories and my macros to be and also give me a bit more of an option to not get as bored because i know people get bored with eating the same thing i was in the navy i can eat the same thing literally every day 
and not be really bothered about it. But I do know that's a big thing for majority people. So having some different variations of proteins will assist you in that department. So yes, these egg whites, all right, egg, whole egg and egg whites, both good sources of protein, egg whites, a leaner source of protein because you will be minus that fat that you will get out of the whole egg, all right? You won't be as impacted right here with egg whites. So depending on how you mix and play, you're gonna try to pull from either one of these and use those. Another thing is we have our chicken breast here, all right? So chicken breast, eggs, and whole eggs, depending on what I'm doing and how I'm situating my numbers, depends on which one of these and how much of these I'm gonna put in there. The ground beef also, you know, I'm taking creatine, but ground beef also is used, especially red meat in the body to go ahead and produce or make creatine. So I'll have my ground beef in there as well. Now I like to get the ground beef and get it mixed up to try to help the digestive system to go ahead and process a little bit better, better more than taking in whole steaks, which is what I have here. And I'm gonna explain that because this also comes into play with the chicken wings coming in for Sunday. Big thing of water right here. I know the rule of thumb is like, oh, you got to drink water. You got to drink water. And the big reason for that is we don't want to drink our calories. We don't want to drink our chewables. OK, and what I mean by that is if you're taking in juice and soda, diet soda, sugar free drinks, you're still taking in an abundant amount of calories that's consumed with a liquid which is gonna take away from you eating, okay? And at this point in time, as we get hungry and we're trying to find things to eat because we're having an appetite issue, this is not gonna help you. So you wanna go ahead, just drink water. And with water, especially during my workout, I will have a branch chain amino acid, which I don't have up here, it's awesome by core. I'm using the pina colada right now, great flavor, okay? So as far as liquids are concerned, coffee, water, that's it. That's all I'm doing, coffee, water. All right, so we just went through the eggs, uh, went through the beef. Now, what I will do right now, especially, and let's, let's, let's hit on this for a second. All the keto bullshit about reprogramming the body. You're not reprogramming anything, okay? The body's primary source for energy is carbohydrates, all right? In the absence of carbohydrates or the exhaustion of utilizing those carbohydrates for energy, it will then move to the fat, okay, and utilize fat to energize the body. And then if the fat's not there, it's gonna hit the protein. So that's why we have a list of proteins. And I'm not gonna get into what my numbers are, how I got my macro set up, how my calories are set up, because that's my own personal plan that's working for my body matrix. Yours are gonna be different. So hit me up, we can find you a plan, I'll structure your plan, I'll even do your full meal plan and it will help you out in your personal journey. So back to what I was saying, so carbohydrates, what I'm gonna do is, it, I'm still gonna have a little bit of carbs at this point in time because I'm not like four weeks out from show where I might start pulling and going on trace carbs, which is anywhere from like three to 10 max carbs per day, all right? And sometimes, depending on how I'm looking, I might not even pull that many carbs, honestly. I might not have to if I've been on a good enough cut plan throughout this time and I hit it right, I might be leaned out as I need to be and not really need to pull that carb. <laughs> Oh, but that's a whole nother, that's diving into a whole nother area. So what I will do is I'll have these for my carbs now in place of having rice and like sweet potato because there's a difference in the way the body will digest and utilize a simple carb and a complex carb. And you can find all types of videos that will fully explain that to you, but I'm gonna keep it real general here because I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna utilize these instead of whole grains and oats and rice because I want my body to process these faster and processing these faster means I'm getting through it faster in the body and we're getting it out of there because of my workload. So during the week, Monday through Saturday, I'm going to have like a cup of these somewhere in the day to where I know my body's going to start digesting it. I can have it for energy. It'll be there doing the workout and then I'm consuming it and using it. All right. So we're not going too crazy on this. So don't think you're just going to eat like two bowls of this and that's no, it's not. It's it's taking a certain way and use a certain way. And this brings me into today, which is Sunday. I'm not working out today, all right? I'm gonna get some steps in, nowhere near as many as I would when I'm training clients, training myself, and about the city, okay? And on an average day, I get anywhere from 10 to 15,000 steps per day. That's gonna be considered low intense cardio. Then when I work out, I'm burning it anywhere from three, 300 to 400 calories per session. 
all right, of a, of a hard session. I work out two to three times a day. So in my first morning session, I usually tend to burn about 50 to 70 calories. It's a low, it's a light hit, okay? Maybe 300, 200, 100 reps or something, okay? You can check my Instagram. You'll see I'll post 50 pull-ups for the day, 100 pull-ups to start the morning off, 100 push-ups, 200 push-ups. That's light. So 50 to 100 calories in that little work. Then my main workout, I'm going to burn 300 calories regardless. It's happening. Sometimes it's more than that, okay? And then I'll have a nightcap after I eat to just put my body in a little a little bit more st state and burn some more calories and, and try to get, exhaust as many of those carbs because I, what I'm wanting my body to do is get through those carbs and let's start pulling out the fat storage cell because that's what your body does with excessive amounts of carbs that it doesn't utilize within a certain time period. It's going to take those carbs, convert them into fat, and store them. And that's where the problem lies. So what we want to do is take in a certain amount of carbs, burn through those, have the energy, get through those, and then have the body gradually start pulling out of those fat storage cells. Okay, so now on a Sunday, I this is my moment where you got to be a little creative because you want to feel like you're getting a little breather and you're able to take in some food that maybe you don't think you should have, but you can have it. It's just depending on how you arrange it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the butcher, or I'm going to go to Costco or Sam's, and I'm going to get me a straight beef cut of either sirloin or filet, okay? One of the higher proteins, one of the better cuts. Now today I picked sirloin because I'm going to have me some Caribbean, uh, Caribbean jerk wings. So with the sirloin, I'm going to have less fat than what the filet would have. I'm going to have about two grams, depending on two grams, a little bit less protein. But I mean, if you got 8.8 .8 grams, 8.8 .8 ounces of a filet, you're going to have 52, about 52 grams of protein, 8.8 .8 of a sirloin, you'll have 50. So that's cool. But when that same uh, weighed up measurement of filet, you will have about nine out, nine grams of fat where here you have two. Okay. So it's pretty, I think, I believe that's right. In the carbs, we're not worried about it. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and have Caribbean jerk chicken. That's another protein. Given with the sauce, you're going to take a little, a little small carb hit because this is not a thick, pasty, creamy sauce. All right. So I'm not messing with these Parmesans. If I have one or two, maybe because throughout this entire day, my carb intake is going to be about 11 grams. That's not much, and I'm already working out of a deficit. Right here, you can see my, my fitness pile. I'm showing you my progress for the week. Uh, let's put it on this side. Showing you my progress for the week. Right here, 4.8 pounds lost for the week. And this is my first installment of my cut phase. So I'm just really slipping in. So next week, probably might be five plus pounds. And I'm going to do that and keep adding to that till I hit a certain point, which I'm going to go for my checkup on my DEXA scan to see where I am. And I want to be around six, 7% four weeks out from show before I really, bam, cut it in. I got enough definition. And, and that's having a general amount of carbs per day, okay? When I say general, it depends on my body matrix, like I said. So right here, we got our super green, we got our water, we got our supplements, we got our array of protein sources, less lean and more lean, and then we have our simple complex carbohydrates, all right? So I'm hoping that this helps you get an idea, and I know it might look a little funky, but guess what? When you know the science, you know the math, you can look a little funky and still good, good, all right? Stay tuned for how I'm gonna look. I'm gonna probably do an update video uh, when I get a little bit deeper in the cut, most likely around uh, the check-in for the DEXA scan. I'm going to show you a comparison picture of when I started to where I am then. And you're going to see it's real. You can see the results of my fitness pile I just posted. That's 4.8 pounds in a week. All right. And, I, and, and I'm no joke about this. I'm serious about it. So if you do need help trying to get a meal plan together, trying to get a, a training protocol together, hit your boy up, that guy health, www.thatguyhealth.com. Hit me up on Instagram, that guy health, and we'll get you started. But right now, I'm hungry, for real, for real. I'm about to get to this. I'm about to have me a good little lunch. I'm going to have me a dinner. Then Monday morning, we're right back to the script, as always, burning up this fat, all right? So you know what I always say about this time. Be safe. Let's build together. Peace.